Nicole Kids Live. This place is a mess. I gotta get ready. Oh, oh. it's almost time for Cold Kids Live. We're gonna play today. It's almost time for Cold Kids Live. We're gonna play today. It's almost time for Cold Kids Live. We're gonna play today. It's almost time for Cold Kids Live. We're gonna play today. Whoa! <laughs> Sometimes, I think the only thing I'm good at is falling down. But then I remember, I'm super good at getting back up. <gasps> oh, hey, you're here. You came. I am so excited to see you. Oh, I have been staying inside and it's been kind of lonely. Oh, but you actually got here. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh. I have really missed um, seeing my museum friends and making new museum friends. Oh, it is really hard when you can't see your friends. But you have been doing an awesome job. I am so proud of you. Oh, okay. Well, um, it's time to get started, I guess. Um, this is going to be great. So, hello, everybody. Um, now you're here and I'm here, and that means we're together. Oh. For anybody who doesn't know me, hi, my name is Vito. I work at Cole Children's Museum just outside of Chicago. And this is Cole Kids Live. It's a special program that we're going to do every day, Monday through Friday, just for you. My friends and I thought it would be great because we can't go to the museum. We would bring an exhibit to you every week. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Um, hey. So let's get to playing, right? Okay, um, we're gonna play today. Uh, how to play, how to play. I know, we can use our imaginations. Oh, a bunch of my good friends use their imaginations to play all the time. Um, my friends Keaton and Layla, they use their imaginations to make big, huge blanket forts all in their living room. Oh. Where better to be in your spare time than in a super duper secret fort? <gasps> oh, and my friends Sullivan, Thatcher, and Hudson, well, they use their imaginations uh, to write great stories and make movies and have adventures in the outdoors and dance. Oh, they're always doing something fun. With a little bit of imagination, you can solve any problem. You can do anything. So what do you say? Do you want to give it a try? Do you want to use your imagination today? <sighs> Yay! Let's start by playing a guessing game. Okay, I'm going to act out an activity and you just guess what it is. Um, oh, I haven't even started yet, silly. Let's see, oh, I got it, I got it. Okay, I'll set this up here. And then I'll get this, and I'll grab one of these. All right, I'm going to start. You guess what I'm doing. Ah, let me see. Oh, yes, this is going to be nice. I think a blue sky, huh? Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is lovely, lovely. Uh-huh, I love it. Let us put some birdies in the sky. Oh, yes. Oh, I can almost feel the wind on my face. Oh, now... For the green grass down below. Oh, yes, it is a masterpiece. <gasps> Did you already guess what it is? <laughs> That's right. I'm painting or making art. I chose that because this week we are going to be bringing the exhibit Adventures in Art right to you. <laughs> See, art is really, really wonderful. Um, we hang it in our houses. We have it in museums. Oh, and this painting I chose because it's an activity. Oh, well, there's a painting right there. This painting is really special. This painting is of my very best friend in the world, Meredith, when she was just about your age. I love the colors and the stripes and the way the big floppy hat covers her eyes from the sun. I wish I had a hat like that. Oh, hey. I thought it would be kind of fun that today we use our imaginations to act out a bunch of different art activities. You see, I'm an actor, and acting is a kind of art. 
It's a performing art. So if we act today, we'll be getting ourselves and our imaginations all warmed up for adventures in art for the rest of this week. You want to try it? Oh, good. Okay, the first thing we have to do is warm up our bodies. You see, painters use paint brushes and paints as their tools. An actor's tool is their body. So we want to get warmed up so we don't hurt ourselves. All right, so everybody, stand on up. Okay, all right. You standing? Good. First thing we're going to do is loosen up. Shake it all out, shake it all out, shake it all out, shake it all out, and stop. And shake it all out, and shake it all out, and shake it all out. Good job. Now, take your arms and reach up to the ceiling. Whoa, on this small screen, it almost looks like I'm touching the ceiling. And go side to side, side to side, and let your arms go back up. Now bring your arms down, and let your head drop down, and let the weight of your head slowly carry you to your toes. And just swing from side to side, and slowly roll back up. Oh, good job. All right, now we're gonna stretch to the side. And stretch to the other side. Oh, and come back up straight. Good. Now just swing your arms back and forth. I like this one, it's relaxing. And stop. Good job. Now, lift your shoulders up and put your shoulders down. Lift your shoulders up and put your shoulders down. Put them up, put them down. Put them up, put them down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, got. Now, shake your shoulders. Wiggle, 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 worms, wiggle, worms, stop. And wiggle, 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 stop. And we go stop. Good job. I think I'm feeling pretty relaxed. How about you? Oh, good. All right, now let's warm up our hands because we're going to be using these a lot today. So take your hands, stretch them out, make them really big. Big hands, big hands, big hands, big hands, big hands, big hands, big hands. Now make them really small. Teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny. Now make them really big, 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 big. And really teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny. Good job. And now we're going to wiggle our fingers. Wiggle our fingers. Don't forget about your thumbs. Wiggle them, wiggle them, wiggle them. Can you do this? <laughs> These are silly wiggly fingers. Noodle fingers. All right, now shake them out. Oh, this will be fun. Hatch, let's do this. Shake your hands. Now shake them high. Shake them low. Shake them high. Shake them out in front. Shake them to the sides. Shake them down low. And shake them way high. And throw them away. Oh, that's pretty good. I feel nice and relaxed and really, really warmed up. How about you? Good. Now, let's get ready to use our imaginations. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of different art forms. We talked about acting and we talked about painting. Um, there's also all sorts of things like um, uh, ooh, sculpting, people who make sculptures, and uh, dancers, and photographers. Oh, there are so many ways to make art. Oh, it really is an adventure every time. Let's try acting out some of those things. Actually, let's start with painting, same way I did. You can paint your own picture from your imagination, whatever you want. Um, all right, so everybody get your easels ready and your canvas up on there and grab a cup of paint. This is the best part because it's your imagination. It can be any color you want. And grab your paintbrush. Ooh, I'm also going to get us some painting music.
Oh, that's nice. All right, so look at your canvas and decide what you are going to paint. What is your subject going to be? I am going to paint a landscape. My daughter, Sophie, is an amazing artist when it comes to landscapes. She does such a good job, I can't paint nearly as well as she can. All right, once you've decided what you're gonna paint, go ahead and get started. There you go. I'm starting with this tree. You don't see a lot of purple trees these days. <laughs> What's so funny? My purple tree? Don't see a lot of them, but that's what's in my imagination right now. Have you ever seen a purple tree? Oh, sure. Some of them have purple flowers? Absolutely. Okay, now I'm gonna clean my brush off and I'm gonna get started on the grass. I've got orange grass to go with my purple trees. This is gonna be amazing. This will be in a museum for sure. What are you painting? Oh, that's cool. All right, now I'm gonna put some puffy clouds in the sky. just about finished with my painting. Are you just about finished with yours? You do the last finishing touches. Doink. There. Here's my painting. What do you think? Well, thank you. Let me see yours. You have some amazing imaginations. Those are great. Tell you what, if you're not finished with your painting, you can come back to it later, okay? Right now, we're gonna push our paintings to the side and we're gonna clean up our paint cups and put our paintbrush in the water. It's always important to clean up your mess. Now let's make something else with our imaginations. Hmm. Let's see, what else did we talk about? Ooh, sculpting. Oh. I have seen some of the work that you guys have created in the Adventures in Art Studio, and some of the sculpting is amazing with the clay. All right, so let's get our imaginary clay right here. Okay, I have an imaginary blob of clay right here in my hands. Got yours? Oh, good. All right, now we're gonna knead the clay. There you go, work those fingers, work that clay. Get it all warmed up and soft. Oh, good. Yeah. And then, when we're ready, let's sculpt something. Ooh. What are we gonna sculpt? Oh, that's a great idea. I think I heard somebody say their pet. That's really cool. How many people have pets? Oh, a bunch of you. Okay. All right, if there's anybody who doesn't have a pet, that's okay. You can sculpt any animal you want. Um, how many people have a dog? Oh, I have a dog. How many people have cats? Oh, yeah. Some cat people in the house, yeah. How many people don't have a pet? There's a bunch. I didn't always have pets. I just got my pets pretty re recently. How many people have a hedgehog? Not a lot of people have hedgehogs. You know what? I do have a hedgehog. Her name is Alfreda. Maybe one of these days I will introduce you to Alfreda the Hedgehog. Actually, you know what? I think that's what I'm gonna sculpt. I am going to make an imaginary sculpt sculpture of my hedgehog, Alfreda. Okay, decide what animal you're gonna do, and then let's get started. Okay, first I'm gonna form the body. There we go. There we go. It's kind of a round body. And then the paws. There we go. The 
paws on both sides. Ah, and the long little nose. Woot, woot, woot. Okay. And the little stubby tail. Ugh, there we go. All right. All right. My sculpture's coming along. How's yours? Good. Now, I'm going to use my fingers on the clay to make the quills on the hedgehog. <laughs> the clay is all squishy and gets in between your fingers. <laughs> uh, there. There we go. Okay. All right. And there is a sculpture of my hedgehog, Alfreda. Do you like it? Oh, thank you very much. I love yours. That's really good. You are an amazing sculptor. Okay, let's set our sculptures to the side. We can come back to those later if we want. Oh, but we've got all this clay all over our hands. We better wash our hands. All right. Wash, 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 wash our hands. Ooh, washing our hands to music is really nice. Have you guys been singing songs while you wash your hands? Yeah, like the ABCs? Don't forget your thumbs. All right, and rinse. and dry. <clears throat> okay, it's time for the next activity. Ooh, there's this beautiful music playing. I just thought of that. Well, we could talk about dancing. Dancing is an art form too. It's another performing art, just like uh, acting is. All right, let's, let's get ready. We'll listen to this music for a second, and then we'll dance, okay? Everybody get up. All right, and now I'm gonna dance. Yeah! Why are you looking at me so funny? Oh. Does my dancing not match the music? Oh, I guess it doesn't. Oh yeah, this music is really nice and pleasant. It's a little bit slower than I was dancing. Maybe I should dance a little bit differently. How about this? I like this music. It makes me feel calm and relaxed. Dancers use their bodies to tell stories. That's their tool. Do you guys like to dance? There's all sorts of reasons to dance. To celebrate. To have fun. was lovely. Oh, you guys, that was some incredible dancing. You are stars. And finish. Ta-da. Nice job. Hey, let's play one more. Um, I know, photography. We talked about that before, right? Okay, so let's do some photographic art. Um, I'm going to grab my imaginary camera right here and we will make enough pictures to put on an entire show. Oh, a full show of pictures, all of you guys. Oh, this is going to be great. All right, so I will take pictures and every time I say one, two, three, click, 
I need you to strike a pose. All right, let's get ready. Get set. Think about your first pose. Have you got it? Okay. One, two, three, click. Oh, that was a great picture. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's try another one. I'll get a different angle. One, two, three, click. Oh, good, good, good. Let me get some different light. One, two, three, click. Oh, good. All right, now I'm going to go up here, make a really big pose. One, two, three, click. Ooh. All right, now I'm going to go down here, make a really teeny tiny little pose. One, two, three, click. Oh, that was amazing. All right, a couple more. One, two, three, click. One, two, three, click. Big pose. One, two, three, click. Little pose. One, two, three, click. Final one, our grand finale. This will be the best picture yet. One, two, three, click. Wow. You guys are even great models. Is there anything you can't do? I bet there's not. You are truly amazing. That was a really fun game. Did you guys have fun? <laughs> Yay. So did I. Well, that's just about all I have for you today. But don't worry, we are gonna come back every day with new activities. This week is all about adventures in art. Tomorrow, you are gonna be learning all about puffy paint. Just like my puffy clouds in my painting before, you're gonna make puffy paint. I like puffy paint. Just cause I like to say puffy. You can find all the things you're gonna need with the help of your grown-up. You can go to our website, kcmgc.org. That's kcmgc.org. Just look for the Call Kids Live section. You'll find the stuff there. And then on Wednesday, you're gonna get to meet my friend Andrea. Oh, and she's gonna teach you how to make Play-Doh in your own house. And she's gonna be live just like me. And then Thursday, Oh, there's some collage. You're going to be experimenting with your senses and collaging. And then on Friday, I'll be back. We'll tell a story. We'll see some art. Oh, you know what? See some art. That's all. I almost forgot. When you're making art all this week, don't forget to send us pictures. We want to see everything. And we'll share it with all of our friends. This is going to be a great way to get to know each other. Oh, all of my museum friends. It's so good to see you again. All right. I will see you all on Friday. This is going to be great. Bye, you guys. Yo, I almost forgot. I want to make sure that I thank all of our generous funders and sponsors for their support. Because of their help, videos like this can happen. Oh, and the Adventures in Art Studio? That is generously sponsored by Daniel F. and Ada L. Rice Foundation. Thank you so much for your support. All right. Bye, you guys. I'll see you on Friday.